Okay, so we're gonna work on Putnam 2014 number A2. And it says, let A be the N by N matrix whose entries are given by the following. A i j is one over the minimum of i and j. Determine the determinant of A. Um, so I wrote down this case uh, where A is five by five um, and the matrix looks something like this. So the minimum of one and anything is one. And so we'll get one over one in the first row and the first column. And then we'll get a half along this next hook here, then a third along here, a fourth, and then a fifth. Okay, so a typical strategy in general with these Putnam determinant problems um, is looking for ways to simplify what you have by using row or comp column operations of some kind. Um, so one thing you might notice is that these two rows have a lot of entries that are similar, um, all of these entries here, except for this last entry. So if we apply a row operation where we take this row and subtract this row, um, we'll be left with something here, but all of these entries are eliminated. So let's do that. We'll have zeros all over here. And then one fifth minus a fourth. Okay. Um, we can do this again if we take this row here and subtract this row we'll have all of these entries eliminated because the first three entries here are the same we'll have a fourth minus a third and a fourth minus a third now you might notice a pattern what we're doing here is making this completely upper, uh, working to it, toward making this upper triangular. And if we take the determinant, it'll be the product of the diagonal entries, right? So um, we won't need to care about what happens above the diagonal. If we do this operation again, where we take this row now and subtract this row, we'll be left with two zeros here, a third minus a half, Right? And then some stuff over here, but we don't really care what it is uh, because eventually this is going to be upper triangular and we'll be fine. So continuing in that same manner, we'll have a half minus um, one here, a zero, and then some stuff. And so now we're in a great position because we have an upper triangular matrix and we know all of his diagonal entries. And so uh, the determinant is gonna be the product of these entries. Now this won't change if this is n by n instead of five by five. Uh, so in general, we get something like uh, the product k equals one to n, one over k plus one minus one over k. And there it is. We can simplify this if you wanted to um, using uh, factorials or such. Let's let's actually do that. So maybe we have a nice cleaner expression. We have the product k equals one to n. This thing here is negative one over uh, the quantity k plus one times k. Right. And so we're left with something like this, um, which we could, if you want to, simplify into uh, products of factorials. But um, I'll leave it as that. Okay, so the moral of the story here is that first you see this matrix that looks kind of strange, but using row operations or maybe column operations is a good way to simplify things in order to uh, determine what the determinant is.